we're going to be going over how to use the task manager application to be able to spot apps that are running in the background and slowing down your device. The easiest way to find the task manager is to either go to your app starter or your top TV launcher too and find it like that. I'm going to show you the icon in a second and at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to get it if you need to get the task manager and you have the cloud. I'm going to be using the new file cleaner section or the one click cleaner. This is for version 34 and above so today is July the 14th. Like I said you can just find go directly to the um, task manager but I'm going to show you the section because basically this is our way of getting rid of the start guide and putting everything directly in front of you. So when you open up this section, we're going to just walk you through how to use each one of these programs that we have installed on your device. Um, if you click on the task manager, so the icon looks like the little Android robot with an X. Click on it. And you'll see a TTV is up right here. Um, You'll also see probably Mobdro and some other things. Be careful up in here. You don't want to just start force closing or uninstalling things that are vital for your device. The easy way to test this out is to long press on the, the application. Scroll down and click for stop details. And that's going to allow you to open the application. So go ahead and open the application, explore it test it out, you know, update it, whatever it needs to do um, to get the latest version. Test it out, see if it's the right application for you. If it prompts you to install anything else, click cancel. Um, they are all doing that, trying to get you to install their own little players and things like that. But, it, you know, and accept the terms if you have to update it. But test it out, explore it, and make sure that, you know, you know what it does. You don't want to just um, go ahead and close it out, not knowing what it is. But the next step would be to, um, you know, hold down your select button again, click for stop. And if you're on the fence about it, you aren't really 100% sure you like the, the application, but you don't want to get rid of it, try for stopping it and see if it does that. So we'll click for stop, we'll click OK, and we'll back out. Also back out of the task manager by clicking the back button on your remote and go right back in and see if it stays put. So if it's sort of staying put, test back in about 30 minutes and see if it starts running again, then I would say definitely make a decision on that in the next, you know, couple of weeks, you know, just because you really don't want to be dedicating resources from your device to applications you aren't even using. If you aren't using it, get rid of it. Um, we install basically the highest quality apps available for every area so sports live tv um if it has international that's a plus you know and things like that but if you're only using it for movies and tv shows um go ahead and clear out some of those or if you have players club or if you have real to bridge um and something that's a really solid source that you don't really have to worry about uh, going out and, and finding and updating and and things like that Go ahead and clear it out. Um, you know, obviously, you would sign into your Real to Brid account with that particular app, test it out for Real to Brid, and um, and make sure that, you know and see what kind of sources it has. But the same process applies. But definitely use your task manager to find out what is running in the background today on your device. Make that decision for yourself if you need it. You need it and you want to support those developers and you you might want them to be able to make the money that way basically instead of selling out ads like before now they're basically using the resources while it's idle the problem with that is that it has to have an application that runs in the background to find out when your device is idle and while that application or that process is small it still does use up resources on your device and that can really affect the performance of your device, especially if you're using a lower end device. But if you have the latest version of the Freedom Build, simply scroll through here and take advantage of all these resources or find them. Uh, Clean Master is a good one. 
if you have a Fire TV Stick Cube or Fire TV 3, you're going to be using the Dang TV Assistant that is in the file linked store. And also, if you have the cloud, um, you can click on an Explore Pro or whatever you have available. And you'll see we have dedicated sections now for cleaning up and improving the performance on your, of your device. I just recently um, got rid of my Mixplorer, meant to install that back and do the latest test with that. But I'll use the ES File Explorer. ES File Explorer is notorious for doing this right now. We are trying our best to um, get rid of this. We're about ready to just tell everybody to pull the plug on this because it it really is a, a beautiful um, file manager that we love because it's so versatile, but it, it runs in the background. So Clean Master and Dang BTV Assistant are in the low storage space. Click here. And if you click on slow store or slow performance, you'll find the task manager APK right there. But there are other applications if you do not have the cloud. Um, well, actually, for task managers, I don't really don't even know. We went through the gamut with them, and all of them pretty much either don't work or they require the um, mouse toggle. But ABK Time Tools section would be a good section to start with that. I think the SD Made might have a built in task manager. But that is how to spot applications that are running in the background, make the informed decision on whether to keep that application or not, and how to make the device yours, get rid of the programs you aren't, or the applications you aren't um, using, and free up that space for the ones that you do. Be good.